Hi everyone, I'm Xiao Zhen. In this video, we're going to show how to use Texera to do real-time collaborative data analytics. This video is brought to you by the Texera team at UC Irvine, including me, Zhuzhi, Sadim, and the rest of the team. Our team is led by Professor Chen Li. So Texera is a cloud service for GUI and workflow-based collaborative data analytics at scale where users with different levels of technical expertise can work together at the same time. It runs on the parallel engine called Ember, which supports execution pausing. In this video, we're going to focus on the collaboration aspect and show how Texera can be used by different collaborators from different domains to quickly complete a data analytics task. Suppose there's a cross-disciplinary research project about analyzing tweets to study the relationships between wildfires and people's opinions about climate change. Part of the project is to extract tweets about a wildfire. So the collaborators already have a very large tweet data set about climate change, and they want to use geolocation to filter the tweets, meaning they consider tweets posted in locations that are close to the center of the wildfire to be relevant. So right now, let me be the domain expert in this scenario. And Zhuzhi and Sadin will be the technical experts to help me. So without further ado, let's see the collaboration in action. Hi, everyone. So let me first get started by adding all the source data operators myself. For this, let me drag two CSV scan operators. So this is going to be the tweets that we're going to process. And this is going to be a table that contains the mapping of the geolocation coordinates. So since the tweets do not have the coordinates, they only have the location IDs, we need to use a drawing to join these two tables together. So let me set the attributes first. Let me explain a bit about what I just did. This is the workflow editor where we can create workflows to be executed. A workflow in Texera can be constructed by simply dragging and dropping operators from the left of the canvas. On the right of the canvas, we can edit the properties of a selected operator, like setting which file to scan. Texera also automatically verifies whether a workflow is runnable. So some operators and the execution button won't be valid until the workflow is complete. Right now, we don't have a sync in the workflow, so it cannot run. Now, let's continue the demo to get to the collaboration part. So after this step, uh, we need to do something to calculate the distance of the wildfire to the tweet. And for this, we can write a Python UDF, but since I do not know how to write Python UDFs, for this, let me add my collaborator Zhuzhi to this workflow. What I just did was navigating to the user dashboard where we manage all the workflows and resources we have. We can upload and manage our custom files and results in the files panel, or we can create projects to categorize the workflows. Collaboration is a first class citizen in Texera. To start collaborating, we can share the workflow with a specified user in the user dashboard, and then collaborators can work together at the same time on this workflow. Let's continue the demo to see how we can collaborate. So, so I've added you to the workflow. Can you join now? So, so can you write a Python UDF to calculate the distance of the tweet to the center of the wildfire? Um, I'm also going to put the coordinates in the UDF. Sure. So let me start shadowing you since I'm kind of blocked by this step. Sure. And I will now uh, drag a Python UDF operator here. And I need Xiaojin to put the location 
of the of the center of the wildfire game. Sure. Let me first stop shadowing you. So right now I'm gonna co-edit with you. Shared workflows can be edited by different users at the same time. And we have several pieces of user presence information to let ourselves know whether other collaborators are online and what they are doing. Here, we see as soon as Suo Zhi joins the editing session, my screen shows his user icon and his mouse cursor on the canvas. We can also know which operator Suo Zhi is working on and we can see some changes have been made to that operator. When we just want to follow whatever a collaborator is doing, we can start shadowing the collaborator. So whatever Zuo Zhi is doing will be shown to my screen. Shared editing allows collaborators to work on both different operators and the same operator simultaneously. Here, we are editing the same Python script and we also have the cursor info of other users. Let's continue the demo. So I've put the coordinates in. So right now, let me just do the next step, which is to have a filter. So let me set the attribute that you just added. And let me do this last step, which is putting the result in. And so, have you finished the UDF? Yes. Perfect. I think we're ready to run. I can also see the workflow has started running now. Oh, perfect. But I see there's some error with the Python UDF. It tells me name log2 is not defined. Uh, so, since you wrote the code, can you try to debug this code? Uh, let me start shadowing you. In Texera, not only the editing of a workflow is collaborative, the execution can also be shared. Here, I started running the workflow and Zuo Zhi will also immediately see that I did this. And whatever runtime error I have will also be shown on Zuo Zhi's screen. Let's continue the demo to see what is wrong with the workflow. Okay. Yes, I can also see the same error on my side. Let me try to find the, the issue. Okay, uh, I'm now inspecting the code and I found a variable name is incorrect. Let me change it. You should also be able to see my change. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Okay, uh, I will now confirm the change and resume the execution from the current repo. Texera supports runtime debugging and it is similar to debugging a program. We can make changes to a problematic workflow without killing it so that upstream results are not wasted. Also, the debugging can be shared. Here, Zhu Zhi made some changes to the UDF and resumed the workflow. And what he's done is also reflected on my screen. Let's continue the demo to see if workflow can be fixed. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I see something has changed, but it gives me another error, which is um, attribute error miles is not correct. And do you know anything about that, Zhu Zhi? Uh, yes, I can see that. It's not the same error. Uh, it seems like I'm not using a third party library uh, in, in, in the right way. And maybe I can call my colleague Sadim to help me with this. Let me add her as a new collaborator right now. So the moment I open the workflow, I see an error here. And if I remember correctly, for this library, uh, the variable name should be miles with capitalized. Let me make the change. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Now it should work. Oh, yes, I see the workflow is running perfectly. 
Shared editing and execution is not limited to two persons in Texera. We can add new collaborators while the workload is being executed, and the runtime behavior will be shown to the new collaborator as soon as she joins. Here, Sadin can also debug this workflow and continue this workflow. Let's continue the demo to see if Sadin can fix this bug. Okay, I paused the workflow. Since uh, this workflow doesn't have any errors now, we can inspect some sample results to see they are indeed what we want before letting the workflow complete. Oh, sure. Let me check them out. Yes, they do seem to be what we want. A workflow can be paused because of some errors, or it can be paused by the user to investigate the runtime state. The control of execution is also shared. Here, I did not hit the pause button, and instead, my collaborator Zuoji did this. But I can also see the pause state. Now, let's continue the demo. So I think we can resume the workflow. Let me do that. So the workflow has finished running. Thank you, guys. I think. Without your collaboration, I wouldn't have completed this task so quickly. OK, so bye-bye. Bye. So that is how we collaborate in Texera. Thank you for watching. And for more information, you can check out this link. See you next time.